time around, we're going to take a look at something very near and dear to us here at Screw Attack. 2D shooters. 2D shooters where you're in a plane, a jet, whatever, destroying everything on the screen. Now before we get all freaked out and go fanboy on us and say, hey, hey, where the hell is Life Force? We're going to say, this is our list. And our list is great. You're damn right. Hey, I'm Stuttering Craig. And I'm Handsome Tom. For Screw Attacks, Top 10 2D Shooters. Number 10. Going old school to start, Xevious helped set the standard in vertical shooters. Released in the arcades way back in 82, it was ported over to pretty much every console imaginable. Now, Harold for its sweet 80s graphics, it had areas like we've never seen before. Land, water, bases, it was so advanced! Amazing. Now you can download it on your virtual console right now, but nothing is like getting your Xevious on in the arcade with your joystick. Number nine. A lot of people get so caught up on console shooters, they forget the PC actually had some good ones. Raptor Call of the Shadows was under a lot of people's radar because they were too busy playing the Super Nintendo. But if you played Raptor, you know what we're talking about. It was great. Now when you start your mission, you got about three seconds of peaceful music, and then whap, you're thrown to the wolves. Also in 94, the PC's graphics were so far superior to any consoles, then when you throw this crazy thing called video in, it totally kicks it and ass kicked them. Ass kicked them? Ass kicked them. Ass kicked them. Number eight. You know, I think we learned something from 1943. We did? Yeah. Shoot the orange planes. They give you power-ups. This little World War II plane had everything. You could even control the weather. What? That's right. The what? Lightning. That's impressive. That is impressive. Another cool thing, your little plane can take a lot of hits, not just one. But when your life bar gets low... Man, I hate that music so much. It makes me so nervous. I don't know if I can do it. Number seven. Atari's best-selling game ever. Asteroids took wallets and destroyed them into a million pieces. This game was so popular, they had to add bigger coin boxes to the arcade machines because people were dropping so many quarters. Suckers! Just stupidly addicting. It's everything that is right about old school retro arcade games. Not a lot of colors, not a lot of options, but you just can't stop playing it. It's like a crazy vortex that just kind of sucks you in. It consumes you. You just become one of the machine. It's crazy. And you spend a lot of quarters. Yeah. Number six. Oh no, the world has been invaded by spaceships and it exploded. Damn. Luckily, Axley is here to avenge our deaths. This is a classic in every sense of the word. You've got both overhead shooting and side scrolling to play with. You're not just defeating bad guy ships, you're fighting against everything. Things fly at you from the ground to the sky, blowing up blockades, and one of the best features, you're not just limited to the size of the screen. You can scroll further up, further down, left or right. The only thing that pisses us off, they were promising a sequel when you beat the game twice. On difficult. It never happened. Bastards. Number five. If you've never seen Galaga and played it, we might as well take your gamer card away. Hey, have you played Galaga before? What's Galaga? What? I've never heard of that. I'm playing some Gears of War, though. You wanna play? Do you have a gamer card? I guess. Can I see it, please? <laughs> it's an every mom and pop pizza joint from here to Timbuktu. If you haven't played it, there's no excuse. You can always download it on the 360. If you're good, you can play for hours and hours on end with just one quarter and just rack up the points. Which leads us to the next big question. Does it ever end? You know, I don't know. This is a great time to bring in our 2007 Iron Man champ, Chris Kumachine Dell. No, no I can't. Thanks. Number four. 
One of the pioneers in shoot 'em ups, our type was great. And then it went super and got awesome. Its signature thing returns to tackle the 22nd century. As we talked about, power ups play a big role in any shooter, but what plays an even bigger role is when you die. I mean, look at this kick ass ship and all the weapons I have. And then. Number three. One of the few shooter franchises that kept pumping out sequels and still improving. We all know how Gradius works with the power-up system, and all that holds true in the most recent classic in the franchise, which makes it just what the doctor ordered. If something's not broke, don't fix it. While retro gamers grew up on the NES and Super Nintendo version, if you've dropped off and haven't picked up a PS2 controller in Gradius 5, you're missing out. It's everything that made the series great. Gradius 5 isn't just the future, it's in the future. The year 8010. Amazing. Number two. Holy crap, this is absolute insanity. To sum up Ikaruga in one word, innovation. Dodging the wrong color bullets and then picking up the right ones made this game one challenging mother. Huh. Not like this challenging. I prefer the ability to actually move while playing a shooter. We could definitely move, that's because the controls are spot on. The more people that have the chance to play it, the better. Which is great, because this game's actually rumored to be on Xbox Live soon. Can you imagine this game with leaderboards and achievement points? Let's get the 2D shooter recap before we get to number one. Number 10, Xevious. Number nine, Raptor. Number eight, 1943. Number seven, Asteroids. Number six, Axley. Number five, Galaga. Number four, Super R-Type. Number three, Gradius Five. Number two, Ikaruga. It's number one. Just from the intro screen, you know this game's gonna kick ass and it's gonna be something special. UN Squadron on the Super Nintendo is actually better than the arcade version. It looks better, it sounds better, and it plays better. Power-ups are funny, huge bosses, and a difficulty curve that is just right. Hey, handsome Tom. Yes. Who's your favorite fighter? I think Greg. He's a big, fat, happy guy. I like Shin. I mean, look at that hair. It's like everybody's cooler with hair covering just one eye. This is the total package. Great graphics, great sound, controls are awesome, and it has the ability to customize your power-ups. It's so cool. You need to play this game. You need to. It's important. 